Hey, I'm Dave, and this is Nylon G. I'm excited to show you guys Nylon G. It is a glass fiber infused 3D printing filament and the newest offering in our growing line of nylon materials. With what we've learned from Nylon X, that is that nylon is an incredibly durable and robust material on its own, the moment it gets filled with that carbon fiber in Nylon X, that adds a lot of strength and robustness to the material as a whole. Nylon G is no different, so it's adding glass fiber instead of carbon fiber, and what that does for us is it maintains an amazing amount of strength and really ratchets up its impact resistance. With the glass fiber infused into the nylon, we were able to offer some really rad colors. Check out these blues, reds, and my personal favorite, the silver. Let's take a deeper dive into some of the specs that makes Nylon G what it is. Nylon G is an engineering grade material with technical 3D printing in mind, but also ready for you to use at home. With its low warp yet high impact resistance, it's never been easy to do additive manufacturing in your home with end use parts in mind. Nylon G is excellent for creating parts that need to take a beating or withstand a ton of kinetic energy being thrown at it. So glass filled nylon is nothing new to us. It's been used in the aerospace industry and a bunch of other industries. You may know it best by most cordless drills are molded out of a glass filled nylon. So you've held it and you know it very well. It's made of that because of its robustness. Under repeated shock, glass fiber reinforced 3D prints maintain their shape and structural integrity. That's all thanks to Nylon G's excellent interlayer adhesion due to nylon itself and the incredible tensile strength. As we've described, the best uses for Nylon G are things that just need to be tough. They need to be durable. They need to last a long time. The shock and impact absorption of Nylon G is remarkable. That durability can really save you in a lot of aspects. Make sure you're printing with success in mind. That means you're gonna want a hardened or even a ruby nozzle. Ensure that your hot end can get up to temperature and that the gears on your extruder can withstand this abrasive material because it will run through, especially a brass nozzle or something like that. To learn more and to get some now, go to matterhackers.com. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.